Ladoff came to Colorado. He, he immigrated through uh, Baltimore Harbor. Coming through Golden, he found a wonderful source of water here. And some of his German friends in Denver said, well, you should start a brewery. So in 1873, he and a partner started uh, Adolf Coors Company. In 1874, the company was making 800 gallons of beer a day. And by 1890, Adolf was a millionaire, a U.S. citizen, and an award-winning brewer. Then came Prohibition. Adolf had purchased a small um, pottery company here in, in Golden. And it became what is now called Coorstech. That kind of helped us get through. We also used our malting facilities to make malted milk. And at one time, we were the largest supplier of malted milk to the Mars Candy Company. First Amendment, which repealed prohibition, uh, opened up the doors in, in uh, 1934. William Bill Coors joined the family business as a chemical engineer in 1939 and was elected to the board of directors in 1973. Extraordinary growth and a lot of innovation in, in terms of tech, brewing technology, uh, particularly Bill Coors was uh, was so focused on finding ways to be more efficient and do, it, do things better uh, in the development of the aluminum can. It was so appealing that everybody had to convert whether they wanted to or whether they didn't. The consumer acceptance of that package was just the most unbelievable thing. He developed a recycling program to return as many uh, cans as we could possibly return. I think the cans are to stay. Our average consumer lived a thousand miles away. So we developed what we called uh, uh, cold uh, sterile fill packaging. Uh, we developed uh, refrigerated marketing. Peter H. Coors was born in Golden in 1946. After graduating from Cornell with an engineering degree, his first job with the company was in the waste treatment plant. I was overpaid for the job, but uh, it was a learning experience. And from there, uh, through most of the uh, aspects of brewing and the mechanical systems and so forth. One historic event which changed the course of Coors was in 1978 when Pete led uh, the family uh, to coming out with Coors Light. In 2005, Coors merged with Molson, and then in 08, Molson Coors and SAB Miller formed a joint venture. It's been a progression of activities that have been designed really to allow us to survive and compete successfully against our biggest worldwide competitors. In spite of all the issues and, and challenges that we've had over the years, uh, no one has ever really taken a, a, taken a shot at the quality of our product. They like our beer. Pete was named chairman of Coors Brewing Company in 2002, but stepped down briefly while running for the Senate in 04. I was inspired really to uh, I believe that, that I could make a difference. He cares deeply uh, about the community he lives in. Boy Scouts, the Stock Show, uh, CU Hospital, the Denver Art Museum Foundation, Colorado Succeeds. Pete is also the president and trustee of the Adolph Coors Foundation. Which was founded after Adolph Jr. passed away. The fact that we've been able to build that foundation into uh, an institution that's able to, to do uh, good things for our community. Well, everybody looks back at Coors Field now and things that was so obvious, right? In the Colorado Rockies, of course they were gonna be a big success. And when Coors stepped up and said, all right, we'll pay the millions of dollars and we'll put our name on this field, that was a huge, huge, a giant step in the credibility of the Colorado Rockies. Adolph, Bill, my uncle, my dad, Joe, left us all a legacy of, uh, not only in the business world, but in terms of, of our service to the community. You know, we only have a little, so much time on the planet, and uh, to do the, you know, to do the best we can is, uh, uh, and prepare the next generation is what we think is most important.